Hey, welcome back to the series that we've been doing on 1989's Taylor's version. I've been going track by track to see if I can find a deeper meaning within each of the songs. Today we're on the next track, which is titled Wildest Dreams. This is another song that I've heard a couple times through different variations, but have not seen the music video. So what we're going to be getting into today is the music video, which is like what's considered the OG version. And then we're going to be listening to Taylor's version, seeing if we notice any differences between those two. And then on my Patreon, we always do an extended version. So we're going to be listening to the Grammy Museum performance. Um, and then I think there's something else from a Spirit Untamed trailer. Don't really know what's behind that yet because I haven't gotten there yet, but there's definitely going to be an acoustic performance or a live performance posted elsewhere. So if you're interested in that, you're welcome to check it out. If not, let's just get straight into it. Before jumping into the music video, I feel like I've said this a couple times now, but I'm just floored as to how many music videos this album has had and how great the music videos have been. Don't know what was going on. There was something in the water when she was making the music videos here, but I have a lot of hopes for this now considering I've seen what? One, two, three, four? Four-ish music videos, I think? So let's see what number six has to offer. Ah, uh, yes. One, two, three, four, six. That makes sense. <laughs> Very cinematic already. Oh, black hair Taylor Swift. He said, let's get out of this town. Drive out of the city, away from the crowds. I thought heaven can't help me now. Nothing lasts forever. But this is gonna take me down. He's so tall and handsome as hell. He's so bad, but he does it so well. I can see the end. Oh, okay. So they're like on a movie set, I guess. The first thing that I noticed was at the very beginning there was giraffes. So I kind of thought they were maybe on, like they were in kind of like the desert or something. But then I saw the giraffe and was kind of like, okay, safari maybe, but definitely a movie set. And Taylor Swift has black hair. So considering the context of other music videos, I feel like this has no connection to any of the other ones thus far, but let's just see where this is gonna go. So like I'm getting like African safari vibes, but the guy whispered or they were saying the lyrics to the song, like almost like it was read from a script, which I know the whole point of a music video is to like lip sync the song, of course, but like that felt like they were reading lines to each other. So given like the song is called Wildest Dreams, I wonder if that's like the, um, you know, like in a movie where like it's the kiss where like they're breaking up or something and they just don't know if they're ever going to see each other again. So I wonder if that's like the part of the movie that they're recording where it's like all of the what ifs of what this relationship could be. Very beautiful background though. Like, is that CGI or is that real? That's crazy. That was probably the most we've gotten from a Taylor Swift video. Okay, I still kind of think this is about the characters in the movie, but at the same time, when she was kind of getting angry a second ago, it looked like it was like almost in the hair and makeup chair. So now I'm kind of thinking like, is this about the actors? I don't know. So I feel like this has to be a part of the movie, right? I will say that this is very old time Hollywood. Like the way she's dressed. There it 
There's no way she's by a lion like that. What was that? Look! What is this montage though? I feel like the only thing I could get out of that montage as it was going through a really well written bridge because I really liked that bridge. Um, but I can maybe see like it's like the heat of the moment. Like a lot of those things were fast paced lightning strikes. What I guess this relationship is to these people or the characters of the movie. Wait. Wait, did she like imagine that whole thing? Because like now they're on a, what looks like an actual realistic movie set of, um, you know, Safari. So like, was she like recording this movie I don't know, I still don't know if it's about the characters or if it's about like the actors, but like some variation of like, she's reading the script and she's imagining like what the movie is trying to do. Like, you know, you can read things to paper, but there's no way that you can bring it to life the way, you know, the way that it's written. So maybe she's, as she's recording her lines in this movie, she's kind of like imagining how it would be if it was playing out in real life. It's like a wildest dreams. Or it could be about a love affair between these two actors because it looks like she has these like longing, like right here. Some rosy cheeks, so you'll see me again, even if it's just crazy. Like maybe she wants the relationship that their characters had. Oh, he's married or it looked like he was married and she looked upset about that. So this is about them. This is so good. Such a good video and intricate. So I keep flip flopping and I'm sorry that I'm talking so much, but like, so it really was these two actors making a movie together she is reading the things on the script and she's falling in love with the actor or the story that she's telling through the movie. And she, maybe she has this like wildest dreams that maybe they could actually be together. And then when it cuts back to reality, she realizes that this person has a completely different life and they're not probably interested in her, but she got it kind of got caught up in the fantasy of the characters that they're playing. I don't know. I just feel like she fell for the co-star. That's so cool. Whoa. Now he's chasing her? Isn't he with someone else? Wait, this is so much going on. Okay. Oh wait, all of Taylor's proceeds from the video will be donated to the animal conservation efforts through the African Parks Foundation. So it was an African safari, I would assume, if she's donating the money to there. That's pretty cool. Makes me wonder if they must have maybe really went to that sanctuary or safari zone. Um, that video was insane. I thought that was a really, this album cycle has literally the best videos, but I'd like to know if anyone knows exactly about the ending. Like was this person like maybe coming to their senses and thinking that maybe they do have a chance of being together? I'd love to know the story if you know a little bit more about the story, but that is a video that I'm gonna need like eight to 10 business days to process and I will be watching it again. But um, that was the OG version. Again, it is a song I've heard before. So now we're gonna get into the Taylor's version, talk about the lyrics a little bit and just see if we notice any differences. Oh, 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 oh. This version already reminded me of that. Um, thankful to my Patreon members because they really just have my back by giving me every detail about the songs to look up. This song uses Taylor Swift's heartbeat or yeah, it says like heartbeat Taylor Swift. So like that bum bum 
is actually her. I'm sure probably most of you guys knew that, but I felt like I needed to give you guys the fun fact if you didn't already know it. So thank you, Allison. She's the one that told me about it, but um, just a little fun fact for you. lyric video looked a lot like when she jumped into the water in the out of the woods video no idea if there's any correlation to that but it also feels like you're jumping head first into like a relationship um which what i think is like wildest dreams is kind of a little bit about but let me pull up some of the lyrics for this it says he said let's get out of this town drive out of the city away from the crowds i thought heaven can't help me now nothing lasts for an ever but this is gonna take me down he's so tall and handsome as hell he's so bad but he does it so well and i can see the end as it begins my one condition is um as if i don't always try to find connections to other songs i do feel like again driving is a really big part of this album i've said this a couple of times now throughout my video so you're probably sick and tired of me saying that but like Style was a big reference to driving. It said like, meet that person, no, no headlights. The music video had driving in it. Out of the Woods had that bridge where it was like, remember when you hit the brakes too soon. Um, I think I Wish You Would had something about that. It's 2 a.m. in my car. Something like, I don't know. There's a lot of connections to driving. So it makes me wonder if any of those things mean anything together. But it is very Taylor Swift, um, perfectly coded or written where she always has this thing about knowing that a relationship is going to end or she just has, she comes into this. It's so interesting. I feel like I'm talking in circles, but it's so interesting hearing something from like Speak Now versus more modern day music from her because I feel like maybe this is even the point where you can start seeing more pessimism coming into her music because I feel like if you play anything from Speak Now, you'll see like blindlessly believing in love and having these things. And then when you get to like red and now you see these things where she's like, yeah, I'm gonna take it for face value that you wanna get out of the city and we're gonna have a good time. But I do see the end as it begins. And she just always is like wary of new relationships or things that are maybe too good too quick. Um, so I like, so I really like that this is what I would call a love song, but also has those like realism about love. I just also really love that chorus because saying that you'll see me standing there in a nice dress with the wildest dreams just makes you think that, you know, I hope I'm a person that you think back to maybe many years down the line, you're always wondering like what could have been or I just have like look back with fondness rather than anything bad. I want you to remember when we were happy in these good moments in our relationship. I said no one has to know what we do His hands are in my hair His clothes are in my room This version also sounds very similar to the original <laughs> It is a familiar sound tour we haven't gotten there yet but it looks like it has the hair length to be in it it's not a tour that I'm recognizing it also is very in sync with this lyric version
So I did see something that I want to mention and I don't want to take credit for this at all. And again, this is probably something you guys already know, but there is a lyric in this bridge so far where it says, you'll see me in hindsight tangled up with you all night, burning it down. Someday when you leave me, I bet these memories follow you around. It's not really related to the song. Oh, it kind of is, but like, I did see a TikTok recently and I wish I had the person to reference, so I apologize. But um, it was like a thing about the Eras tour, which is a tour that I've been to. And there's a part apparently in the 1989 set where, um, I don't know if it's exactly when she sings this song, but in that set is around the time where uh, the set in the background goes up in flames and they were kind of bringing this back into saying burning it down. It's like the wildest dreams or like when you're looking back in hindsight, like you're about to move on to the next section of the concert and you can see her like burning it down. It just kind of was like a callback, I guess, to this lyric in the song. So it's really not relevant to this video, but just thought I remembered it and I was like, mm, let me mention it. But one thing I really like about the lyric, you'll see me in hindsight, tang it up with you all night. I like the you'll see me in hindsight because it reminds me of a lyric, what I believe it's from Evermore, where, not the song Evermore, the album, um, where she says, I always felt I looked better in the rear view, where she just has that, you know, you're gonna look back at whatever we had and whatever this was with the fondness. But then I think it's funny that she just kind of like, she is growing that pessimism in her songs, but also saying someday when you leave me, like, she's acknowledging that she's not gonna be the one to leave. She might be a part of the problem or she might, you know, play a factor, maybe her fame, something's gonna come in the, between them. But she's like, someday when you leave me, <laughs> cause it's like, she'll, she'll hold on as long as I guess she can. I feel like you could also, again, I know she says someday when you leave me, so maybe it's not for full face value, but I feel like you could also kind of make this about, like I said, a love song, but like thinking about someone that you might still currently with, be with and it says, see me in your wildest dreams and sing, sing in a nice dress. It's like, maybe always remember me young. Remember when, remember me at my best, even as when I'm not at my best, or as you just grow older, just remember these amazing moments, even if it's just pretend, just remember the times that we've had. So I know it's not exactly that, but I also kind of think of that when I hear this. Just cause it's so dreamy. Definitely think that's a one-to-one -one re record. I am not an expert, obviously, but I don't think I noticed many or little differences through these versions. One of the ones that I feel like is very fondly recreated for sure. Um, but that was Wildest Dreams Taylor's version. So let me know what you think of the song. I think this is definitely one of my favorites from the album thus far. Um, coming off of Bad Blood, Bad Blood is probably to be honest, my least favorite from the album. So I don't know if it's coming off a little bit of a bias of like that not being my favorite 1989 song, but this is definitely one of my favorites for sure. It's like the perfect like dreamy kind of pop song, but um, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you have any context on that video or just thoughts about this song in general, but thank you so much. And if you're interested in that Patreon, check it out for the live performance. But if not, I'll just see you in our next video.